Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry is Easy for You. Today we are going to do the part 2 of D block elements most important questions. So today also, today we will be having a mixture of easy and uh, medium levels of questions. From part 3 onwards we will be going to the advanced level. So by this part you will be clear with all the basic questions that are coming for every exams from this part. So let's begin without wasting much time. The first question is a factual question that is which of the following ores contain both iron and copper. This is very important for all the PG entrances as well as for the plus 2 level entrances because you people often come across the question asking about the names of the ores and also in even in case of government level examinations like the technical assistance or the research assistant in for such exams also you can often see questions which deals with the or names of the ores which contain particular elements so the answer for this particular question is c charcoal pyrite is the answer it is the ore which contains both iron and copper now the second question is related to magnetic property so from in the case of D block elements, uh, the main questions that usually come are from the part of color and magnetism. So this is one such question. Which of the following set correctly represents the increase in paramagnetic property? So let's count the number of unpaired electrons. We know that the magnetic moment is given by the spin only formula n into n plus 2 root of n into n plus 2 where n is the number of unpaired electrons. If the number of n is more then the magnetic moment also will be more. So let's see mn2 plus means we will be having d5. 5 of the electrons would be there and here since no ligands are given we will be simply writing it like this. So all the 5 will be unpaired so approximately 6 will be the magnetic moment in case of chromium chromium is d5 s1 d5 s1 so cr if it is cr2 plus then it would be d4 and here there will be four uh, four electrons which are unpaired which is approximately equal to the magnetic moment will be approximately equal to 5 then we have vanadium vanadium is having d3 s2 or will be having V2 plus means it will be 3 unpaired electrons. Therefore, the approximate magnetic moment would be 4. Then Cu2 plus is actually Cu is having D10S1. Or we can say that uh, Cu2 plus will be having D9. So, how we will be filling this 9 electrons? Let's see. The 9 electrons should be filled as. We are having 5 orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there will be only one uh, unpaired electron. So, what will be the order? Cu2 plus will be having the least para paramagnetic moment. Then will be vanadium, chromium and manganese. So, the answer would be option C since it is the increasing order. So, always please be careful whether the order asked is increasing or decreasing order. Don't confuse it right accordingly. Now, we will go to the third question. Now here we have the third question. When ammonia is added to cupric salt solution, the deep blue color so observed is due to the formation of. This is a very important question because this is frequently asked and this particular complex has very uh, too much importance when you study the equilibrium of uh, the complex formation. Whenever you study the complex formation equilibrium, this particular complex is very important and therefore uh, Cu2 plus plus 4NH3 would be giving Cu NH3 4 times 2 plus. So option B is our answer. Now we will go to the fourth question. The fourth question seems like another uh, a question which is factual or the fact based question but this is important because it was asked in Delhi University PG entrance examination and uh, even in bitsat i think it is in bitsat only and uh, certain regional uh, engineering entrance exam for that is a plus two for the plus two students this question is important because it has been asked and in delhi university this is asked in the reverse order here the question is to identify the sulfide which is yellow in color which is option c cds cadmium sulfide is yellow in color and zinc zinc sulfide would be white then the other two, this and this, these two would be black. And the question was to identify in Delhi University, the question was to identify the sulfides which are not black. 
and you would have to uh, write as one uh, you would have to choose from a b b c only b like that the options were given and you were to choose the one which is not black in color and the answer is zinc cyanide cyanide and cadmium also okay now the next question which of the following complexes will not exhibit optical isomerism? So, there should not be any uh, enantiomers for a particular complex among these four. And in those cases, there will be no optical isomerism. So, it is very obvious. The answer here would be option C, trans CO EN2 Cl NH3 2 plus because it is trans and also uh, so therefore they will not have a chiral chiral complex but a b and d option a b and d they will be form they have the uh, chiral chiral forms chiral structure and therefore shows the enantiomerism therefore they are optically active and in addition to the enantiomers the d this one is also having a mesoform so remember that this particular complex is having a mesoform and to the two enantiomeric form a b and d have enantiomers therefore they are optically active and uh, c would be the answer that we are looking for now we will go to the sixth question the aqueous solution containing one mole of cocl3 dot here there is a dot 5NH3 consume 2 moles of silver nitrate for the preparation uh, for the precipitation of free chloride ions. The formula of the compound should be. So whenever you see the, these kinds of questions, you always wonder whether the uh, answer would be a really complex one or not. But it is not complex. Just read it carefully and you can understand it. So you have already given the formula of uh, whatever the complex that is under or the compound that is under consideration. But that is mis, uh, mismatched and given or they are not given in a uh, arranged form. And you are given the clue in order to arrange this. So 2 moles of AgNO3 are consumed and then, uh, then the uh, chloride ions are precipitated. What does that mean? It means that this particular uh, this particular structure is having um, ionizable two ionizable since it is using two AgNO3 it is having two ionizable chloride chloride ions two ionizable Cl minus because AgNO3 there will be AgCl precipitation since two are consumed there will be two ionizable so the two of the chlorine should be outside the complex okay so the answer would be option A here the cl2 two cl are outside the complex and though that will be ionizable using the agno3 so whenever you have these kinds of questions as i said please read it carefully and it would be definitely very easy uh, don't worry whenever you see uh, a sentence based question in coordination chemistry it would be a very basic idea now the seventh question which of the following way less when weighed in the magnetic field you, you may seem like, uh, you, for you, this may seem like an unknown question for some of you. But the basic idea here is to find the diamagnetic, diam, which one of these is diamagnetic. If you find the diamagnetic species among the four of them given, what would happen? In a magnetic field, the diamagnetic compound will be repelled. And this repulsion will be causing it to weigh less in a magnetic field. So, let's see which are the... Uh, diamagnetic species here so here vcl3 means v3 plus plus 3cl minus and similarly here we have sc3 plus ti3 plus and fp3 plus so let's find the number of electrons so here in uh, ion3 plus it is having d6s2 and it would be d5 there would be five unpaired electrons so definitely this is paramagnetic then ti3 plus scandium titanium titanium it would be uh, it should be D2S2 but here D1 it would be because 3 plus is there titanium is D2S2 Ti3 plus would be D1 so it is uh, it is also paramagnetic next scandium scandium it would be D1S2 scandium but in case of SC3 plus there will be D0S2 S0 so what would happen we will be considering the total uh, total magnetic uh, I mean the total electronic configuration it will be for scandium it will be 3s2 3p6 for scandium 3 plus and 3d0 4s0 this would be the electronic configuration. so all are paired and this is the one which is diamagnetic all paired electrons so the answer that we are looking for is SCCl3 because it is diamagnetic 
diamagnetic would be weighing less in a magnetic field diamagnetic so that is uh, how you have to approach these kinds of questions now the eighth question the basic character of the transition metal monoxide would be uh, would be following which of the following order so the eighth question what you have to remember the basic character decreases from decreases from left to right decreases from left to right therefore what would be answer we are having scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese etc so the order would be option a titanium oxide would be uh, more basic than vanadium oxide then chromium oxide and finally it will be fe feo so that's all the eighth question now we'll go to the ninth question the ninth question is another question which was asked in uh, Delhi University PG entrance examinations is very simple just keep this one in mind which of the following alloy is used to fill the dental cavity it is mercury amalgam generally you have to say as mercury amalgam and uh, you, you, how you can know this you can remember it because people are concerned about doing the filling of their teeth with uh, this because of their fear of uh, mercury poisoning due to their fear of mercury poisoning lot of people complain against these kinds of dental dental fillings okay so you can keep like that way in the mind now the next question is uh, what is the value of magnetic moment of the central metal ion in k2 mn o4 so how can we write this k2 mn o4 means mn o4 2 minus so let the uh, x the oxidation state be x plus x minus i mean x plus 4 into minus 2 would be equal to minus 2 or x minus 8 is equal to minus 2 x is equal to x is equal to minus 2 plus 8 which is equal to plus 6 so manganese is in plus 6 oxidation state in this particular uh, in this particular compound so now let's see the electronic configuration manganese is d5s2 now manganese 6 plus would be d1 so we are having one unpaired electron so according to the spin magnetic moment or the shortcut what would be if n equal to 1 the uh, the magnetic moment should be approximately equal to 2 so the answer which is approximately equal to 2 would be option b 1.73 and that itself would be the answer here okay now the 11th question this may form a lot of confusion be, be, uh, between many of you but uh, I, I would suggest you to simply keep this uh, memorize these colors because this was asked in one of the engineering exams so you can expect it any time again so just keep this in mind and uh, try to memorize this so that it would be easy for you for the 11th question the answer would be it would be option B uh, the color of v4 plus vanadium 4 plus would be blue then ti3 plus it would be ti3 plus it would be purple then ti4 plus it would be colorless and uh, manganese it would be pink so how can you uh, how can you arrange this one first of all uh, ti4 plus should definitely be uh, colorless since it is having no d electrons it should be colorless and therefore 3a should be one of the option then manganese 2 plus is pink that you know while you are doing the uh, might you might have already learned it when you are doing the practicals it should be pink in color so 4b so 3 and 4b are given in two different options then definitely ti3 plus cannot be violet it would the other two you have to keep in mind because this is according to the answer key of one of the previous national level examination so just keep this one in mind okay so that's all for today next in the third part of d block elements important questions we are going to do uh, the advanced level that is uh, we will be uh, stepping up a little more and uh, doing the uh, distortions jantala distortions then splitting and all those the questions from all those part we'll be doing that so thank you so much for watching keep watching the space for more videos uh, subscribe the channel hit the bell icon for latest notifications share this one with all your friends and uh, all the best for your studies learn hard and reach up reach the place that you want to thank you